Boom, peace. What's up, guys? Intro. Well, I finished them Silverados. They're just a couple Raiders trucks. You know, they got the works inside, all that. Logos. Put my name on the back. I had some Raiders decals, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do a couple Raiders trucks. I don't know if there's any Raiders fans out there, but that's what they are. It's crazy here in Kansas City Chief area how many people are Raiders fans. I don't really care. I don't watch much football anymore. I don't watch any sports. I used to watch back in the 80s, early 90s, I guess. You know, back with Herschel Walker, Walter Payton, Refrigerator Perry, all that back then. I don't really watch anymore. Definitely don't now that they're all... Well, that's a whole other story. Anyway, I always put airbags on them. And to get them wheels in there, you gotta, you gotta grind out the wheel wells. Which I use a... Uh, a stone so I can round it so it ain't butchered it's actually feathered in there so they're rounded looks factory can't even tell but uh, they roll sweet but two exactly the same I actually still have shoot probably four or five more Raider decals I just haven't done anything you know Um, so anyway don't know if anybody's interested in some Raiders trucks but email me if you are that's that's what I was working on there I just I had I was messing with those other gassers and in between I grabbed a couple Silverados and uh, I just stripped them down and done up the Raiders while I had them I just I keep coming across decals that you know I just haven't gotten to and I thought you know what those would look pretty cool I was gonna put some black paint on it but I thought you know black wheels black decals black front I think all silver would be good and the silver is super cool it's real metallic I don't know if you can see that but it's real metallic really nice but anyway two of my newest ones now I gotta get busy on some other stuff uh, so let me know if you guys like them so on so on thanks oh and thanks again to everybody who jumped on them gassers they are gone I've added more people to the list for some that missed out. So anybody wants, you know, one of the breaking loose or the pirates made, let me know. You still get the old price, 65. And uh um, because you know, I'll raise that later. These here, I don't know, anybody wants them, um, you know, I you can I'll probably you know, I'll ship these out for 50 bucks. That's with shipping. Um, now it comes with the case. Can leave it in there. They're pretty cool. They are a little work, but they're not a lot of work. So, I mean, if I would have cut it out and put an engine in there, I'd probably charge, you know, 60 bucks or more, maybe 65 because of all the work. But, you know, without putting the engine in like I do my channel truck, it, it didn't take as much. Um, the most work was grinding out the wheel well. Like I said, I don't know if you can see in there. You probably can't. But I actually feather it. I round it. Try to get where the angle where you can see daylight through there. There you go. You see around that wheel? See how I round it? There you go. I feather it right up in there so it doesn't look gouged. I mean, you take that thing apart and look at it, you're not even going to be able to tell I ground them. I just I feather it right in there. I've been doing that with a file forever. My son came over and said, Man, I've got this Dremel tool. It's a whole set. It's a big old box. It's got everything in it. Why don't you use it? 
so he left it here and it's just been sitting under my bench and I've never I haven't used it I just do it with a file you know kind of like Eddie and uh, for the longest that's what I was doing here before I got the, the cutoff saw I'd drill a hole and I'd file it out but this 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 uh jeweler saw man if you know how to use it it makes quick work of that it'll just chop it up real quick but anyway um I was I was filing on it and filing on it. I was like, man, this is going to take forever. And then I, I glanced down and seen that uh, Dremel kit down there. I was like, you know, I'm going to go ahead and try it. Boy, I'm glad I did, man. It, it's got this little bitty stone bit. It's got every bit in there you can think of. And I put it in there and turned it down real low, low lowest speed it'd go, and just... And it just, it just feathered that thing right on out, just piece of cake. I was like, oh my God, I'm filing all this stuff for nothing. So glad he brung that over. And like I said, I put airbag. I, I just call that airbags. I don't know what that really is. And it's the same thing I do. I, I consider those like solenoids and cylinders underneath there. So I paint those up too, like they're part of the airbag solenoids and sensors and relay switches and all. But I don't really know what that tank's supposed to be in the back of that truck. I just figured as low as the truck was, maybe it's supposed to be a air tank for airbags or something. So I just always run lines back there like it's air lines. But anyway, um, just let me know, guys. Uh, I'll take it easy. Peace. Outro.